Taurus. Welcome. I'm going to do a general read for you. I don't know what's going to come out of the cards. Uh, they've sort of been all over the uh, all over today. Uh, that said, we're going to look at your current energy, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, what you may need to be aware of. Keep in mind that what you may need to be aware of is not a negative thing. It just might be something we don't want you to miss. That said, let's get started, Taurus, and figure out what's going on for you this week. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. Maybe somebody's hoping for some romance. Maybe somebody's hoping for somebody to come in and finally make an offer to them. Or you're looking at making one yourself. And then we have the world showing up. Uh, seems like in your elk or your desires, you're hoping that the world finally gives you what you're working for. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. And to me, this is maybe you're starting to work on something that finally has some meaning to you that can be actually fairly prosperous. We have karma showing up, or also known as judgment. So this could be something from the past that is coming back. That could be actually this offer. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles showing up. Now the Queen of Pentacles is that individual who knows what she's worth. Um, she's solid in what she thinks. Um, she's generous loyal. So that said, let's actually go through and start to clarify what is going on for you, Taurus. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Taurus? Well, the Knight of Cups, so this offer that can be coming in has been something that's um, that's been clarified by the Five of Wands, the Chariot, and the Seven of Cups. So it seems like there's been sort of a lot of sort of back and forth with moving forward and a lot of indecision in moving forward and you've been fighting that, taking any action. But now is the time to take action. There is using that internal strength in order to make sense of the opportunities that are around you to stop bucking it so much why is the world here why is the world here for Taurus in their desires it seems like there's some things that you've been holding on to uh, whether these are beliefs or just ways of thinking but there's this fear of loss and then we have the Knight of Pentacles that says hey you know what no things have been going forward slowly even though it might not be going according to plan or you may not believe that there is a plan for you it seems like you know geez you know what do I do you're just you're putting one foot in front of the other you're scared to let go of things that you've held on to for so long that have meant the world to you but there's a lot of false beliefs around that and they need to shift uh, what is the eight of Pentacles here in the outcome As you're starting something new, you're really hoping that there's this... For the Ten of Pentacles, you're hoping to be able to leave a legacy. That there is stability within your life, in your romance, in your work. And it seems like you're needing to refocus direction. Leave something behind. It's been stormy. It's been rough. It's never actually given you what you wanted and move towards the parts that will make you stable 
move towards that stability, that life. Um, it could even be a marriage with this Four of Wands. Move towards what you want to create in life. Why is karma here? <laughs> so we have karma, so something from the past. Uh, somebody might be coming forward uh, to offer you I want to say a cup of love with this page of cups. They want to give you something that's going to have you all up in your feelings. It may feel a little stormy. It may come and it may go. Uh, it's been delayed for some time, this person coming forward or whatever this is. And it's coming from the past. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Taurus? Ooh, okay. So this Queen of Pentacles, this may be somebody that you knew from the past that you thought was a solid, uh, it was a solid deal. Uh, this Queen of Pentacles may be coming forward to offer you some type of love based on this Two of Cups showing up but you're not sure if you really want it based on the Four of Cups being here. You're like, maybe, been there, done that. Uh, this is kind of unexpected. This person or whoever is actually bringing this offer forward, this is not something you were expecting, but you're not sure if you really want it at this time either. It could be something that you really need to make a major choice around because it could uh, it could affect your happiness. That said, let's pull three more cards for you, Taurus. It seems like uh, with this Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Wands being here, You've had your ass kicked. And you've been trying to push and trying to push and trying to push. And things are finally giving way. You've fought enough. And things are finally, finally moving forward in that direction. And I also get the idea with the Seven of Wands is keep fighting the good fight. Um, you are prevailing. That said, Taurus, I want to pull one card oracle card from for you from the universe has my back and I'm gonna take it because it flipped over my faith has been the power to turn trauma into he healing conflict into growth and fear into love well gee that really kind of ties in well with whatever's coming back from the past for you with karma and the six of cups being here that said, Taurus, that is what I have for you today. Thank you for being here, and we will see you next time.